Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? Any ideas that I have, I will do. You need to make sure that your first priority is saving money. This is my day. Michelle gave up all control. This is this is something I want to do. But is she going to like this, too? Because you got to remember, you got to live with her after this. Brad. That's a joke, right? No. Michelle is going to hate these. You want a whole cake? A whole cake. As a plate. In the shape of a plate? Absolutely. Why? Why not? Michelle will shoot you. There's no we in this planning. It's me. Weddings are a groom whose ideas reach the sky. Weddings are a bride who gives control to her guy. Weddings are spending that always goes awry. Meet newlyweds Brad and Michelle. For a $5,000 budget boost, Michelle let Brad have total control over the planning of their wedding. Now let's watch and see if this groom can create a wedding that soars or if he just blows their budget sky high. My name is Brad. I'm a 31-year-old customer service rep. I met Michelle, a teacher, six years ago while working with Air Cadets. It took me a while to win her over, but eventually she couldn't resist my charm. This is the story of how I planned our wedding. My way. Our wedding day was incredible. It turned out better than I expected. I didn't even know what to expect, and that's definitely a first for me. Michelle's wedding may have been a day of firsts, but will Brad manage to give her a day to remember without giving them a debt they can't forget? Planning the wedding without Michelle took a little getting used to. I mean, she likes to be involved in everything. Uh, no, I just need to make sure you're kept in line. I had wedding planners. Ugh, yeah, thank goodness for that. Meet wedding planners Laura Attendido and Kelly Spinelli. With six years of experience, they know their way around a formal event. But can they assist this high-flying groom without him grounding his budget? Our role as wedding planners is to help the groom realize his vision for the day, as well as keeping him on budget. Laura and I are so excited to start planning your big day with you. But the big question, Michelle, you have given up full control of your wedding for a $5,000 budget boost. <laughs> yes. How confident are you in Brad? He's a great planner, and I know he has great ideas, so I trust that he can do a great job. What I'm really nervous about is that he is just going to go out and spend you know, all our money and, and get the first thing he sees instead of shopping around. So he, you think he's a little bit more impulsive than you are, you're saying? And that's, yeah, and that's the problem. Brad is striking out before he's had a chance to strike a bargain. What's the motivation for doing it, man? Honestly, I can sense a deal, and, and $5,000 budget boost, it's, it's a deal. <laughs> okay, so Brad, hearing that and hearing her feedback, I mean, what's your motivation for taking on what sounds like a big challenge in her eyes? I want her to see that I can actually pull this off. Really. Any ideas that I have, I will do. Okay, but come on, like, you need to make sure that your first priority is saving money. But Michelle, you understand that giving up control means technically what he's saying is true, and he has the freedom to kind of make decisions, right? That's right. Yeah, but it's... that scares me a little. Well, it comes down to trust, right? Isn't that right. what marriage is all about? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're and not you're... married yet. <laughs> oh, dear. And your $5,000 budget boost is your motivation. Just think about that in the end. I don't think any will be left after he spends it all. Have some faith. Have some confidence. Trust me. Brad, do you have a vision of whether this is going to be a large or an intimate affair? About 150, I think. It's not too big. It's not too small. What kind of support? Who do you have to help you along in the planning process? Well, I'm a big family guy. I've had a great relationship with my cousins, so I, I'm bringing them along. Oh, you need, like, my side. Take my brother. Adam can help you. Your brother? Yeah. Really? He knows me. He knows my likes, my dislikes. All right. I'll bring Adam along. Good. Can you bring your mom, too? I know your mom will think a budget. Okay. Yeah. Is your mom budget conscious? She is. Yes, I like. OK. <laughs> At this point, Michelle, this is where a handoff kind of starts. We need to talk to Brad about some of the actual important details that, unfortunately, you are going to be excluded from. So we need to ask you to just step out for a little bit so that we can start chatting with him. OK. But okay. please remember, keep him on budget. OK, we we'll will do, do our, our best. best. I'll be fine. <laughs> my vision for my wedding would be elegant, glamorous, 
beautiful, look like a million bucks without spending that million bucks. Okay, Brad, so I'm not sure how much you've actually thought about planning this wedding, but there's actually a lot of stuff to do. And this now. list is just the beginning, really, of our planning. Have you even thought about this? I always thought it was just, you know, book a church, book a venue, get a meal. Get a clue. Planning a wedding isn't as easy as you might think. What is your vision for the day? I want quirky. I want I want to bring in some kind of unique ideas that nobody's really seen before. Mm -hmm. I want people to come away from our wedding as like, wow, that was an amazing day. Remember Michelle's instructions, because amazing days don't come cheap. Do you foresee any sort of color scheme? Or I know Michelle's favorite colors are purple and silver, so I'm thinking let's incorporate that. I mean, it is her day too. Any sort of theme attached to the wedding? Well, I mean, we both met in the Air Force. We work with cadets, air cadets mainly, so maybe like an aviation theme. Well, that's different. That's neat. Yeah. Definitely a way to personalize the wedding. I think so. Like bringing airplanes into the actual wedding. Absolutely. Oh, like we're going that literal with it. Oh, yeah. OK. What kind of venue do you foresee for the actual reception then? I love the grounds at a lot of golf courses, so I'm thinking a golf course, That's like a great. golf a clubhouse. OK. That's a great location and really nice for photos as well. Absolutely. Um, maybe you can find one with a landing strip close by. Perhaps. OK, we'll <laughs> great. See. All these ideas you think will totally fly with Michelle. You know what? I don't think it really matters, because she'll be surprised, definitely. But I'm planning this wedding, right? OK, fair enough. So Absolutely. I think we're starting to kind of get a sense of what you're all about and what you want this wedding to be all mm -hmm. about. So let's bring Michelle back in, and we'll take it from there. Absolutely. OK. Michelle is very controlling, so she doesn't really give me a lot of chances to make the decision. So me being in control of this one, it's kind of liberating, actually. So I'm looking forward to doing this. So when it comes to your budget, are you both in agreement? Yes. We were both in agreements of the budget. OK. As long as he doesn't go over. OK. The next thing is to actually see this budget. Let's see what we're working with. Go ahead. Will this budget work with the groom's vision? Or will it cost him in the end? All right. OK. And to this budget, we're adding a $5,000 budget boost. OK, Michelle, because you've been so good at giving Brad the control of the wedding, we do want you still to have one piece of the wedding that is yours in the planning. So okay. what you see before you are three wedding cars. Underneath each car is one area of the wedding. You get to select a car, turn it over, and you actually control that item in the wedding. I have full control over that one thing. Over that one item, it's all yours. OK. I think I'm going to go with number three. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Coming up. You're marrying the woman who will then kill you for buying a $2,600 dress. Stu's sister actually found the dress, thought it was perfect for me, um, had it tailored, and brought it to me. It was only $80, and it was perfect. It might as well have been $8,000. Look fabulous. Our frugal bride, Michelle, has agreed to give up control of her wedding to groom Brad so they can receive a $5,000 boost to their budget. It's not easy for Michelle to give up control, so planners Laura and Kelly have given her the opportunity to pick one item she has final say on. I'm going to go with number three. All right. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, nice. Michelle is pleased for now, but it remains to be seen if her choice will fly with Brad's vision. I took shopping for Michelle's dress very seriously. Girls always say that it has to be the one. But nobody ever tells you there's like a billion dresses to choose from. Yeah, but you'd make it a lot simpler on yourself if you just look at the price tag first. Hi. Hi. I'm Brad. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> this is my cousin Erica. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. And my brother-in-law to be Adam. Nice to meet you. So are we just waiting for the bride? No, I'm, I'm planning the wedding, actually. Backwards. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do we know what kind of style we're looking for? I don't know. Cut off, like, down. Well, that certainly clears things up. <laughs> I don't like, know. Oh, yeah. You don't want the dress going up. <laughs> yeah, obviously not. Something fitted wow. and, I don't know, poofy at the bottom? I'm like a princess. I think so. Look. Yeah, yeah, no absolutely. problem. Good, good so, work. if you want to start taking a look around and pull a few that you like, and I'll do the same, okay. and then we'll meet up soon. Thanks a lot. Look at all the dresses, man. Oh. I was completely overwhelmed. I didn't realize how many dresses I could actually choose from. 
It was just a sea of white. What about this one? No. It's no, the pink. lace is no. really no. That's cheesy. Uh, what about this one with the blue? With the, but Michelle doesn't like blue. Who hates blue? My my fiance. That's who. Oh, but it'll bring out your eyes. My eye. It's for Michelle. And Michelle wants you to keep one of them on the budget. That one? That's pretty. That's really nice. It's so pretty. <gasps> Brad, how much is that dress? Oh, that's so that's twenty six hundred bucks. Okay. I, yeah. You you are not it's spending twenty six. Look at this dress. No, twenty six hundred dollars on worth a dress. Every penny. Brad. Remember, it's for my fiance, not you. <laughs> My ideal wedding dress would be beautiful, it would be one of a kind, gorgeous, make me stand out in a crowd, but really cheap. Hi, so here are two. They're from our impression line. I think there's too much going on at the top. Not that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah no. And this one isn't. I don't like the nice. cross. That's the nice. cross? Yeah. I like this one. I mean, it's got the poofy on it. It's not in your face embellishment. It's, I for mean, me, that's the one and I think she'll love it. It's really classic. It's, honestly, Brad, you're marrying the woman who will then kill you for buying a $2,600 dress. He does this have a point. Just, do you have something like this that's a little bit more reasonable? So I can definitely show you different ones that are very similar okay. at a lower price range. Sure. Okay. Let's hope this can be low enough for our bride, who can't help but try to find her own discount deals. Well, I decided to go to a thrift store with my girlfriends to see if I could find a couple dresses, skirts, maybe for the cruise for our honeymoon. Oh my god. Guys, they have wedding dresses here. You can get a cheap wedding dress. Would you know you want to get a wedding dress from here? Yeah. You know why they're here? Because people don't want them anymore. Okay, no. People have appreciated them, oh. used them nicely, okay. and now they're giving it to someone else to enjoy. Look at this. You tell me this is not pretty. How much is it? It's only $200. That's great. For a wedding dress. That somebody else wore. Looks like your friends are not buying into your penny-pinching ways, Michelle. Put it back. You're not even buying your own wedding no. dress. Let's I know, but, back. but I'm really hoping Brad will, well, well, when he's looking for my dress, he'll think Brad sale will. rack. This is nice. I kind of like this one. What do you think? Yeah, how, much is, how much is that dress? This one's 500 Look at that. See that? Look, okay. $2,600. $500. It's nice, right? but it just doesn't, it's not like, I don't know. Wow. Michelle, Michelle will not know the difference. Maybe you can't know. tell the difference because it's on the hanger. If you want, I will try this on for you. Oh, You've good. been dying for this the entire day. And I'll put this one on a Judy so you can take a look at them side by side. Okay, look at this dress. Okay. It is so pretty. They're the same, look, if you it's just- It's almost the same. If you go like that, you can't even tell the difference. I know if I was buying for a regular bride, I mean, the 2640 dress yeah, would be sure, the one. Not? Yeah, absolutely. But well, I think we're buying $5, for Michelle. If you're gonna splurge, you should splurge on the dress. That's where your money should go. I would die, literally, if we bought that dress. But $500, I mean, I wouldn't die as harshly. You know how cheap she is. Cheap awesome. is the new black. Cheap is the new black, yeah. that's right. I think we're gonna go with this one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe yeah. I'll get this one when I get married. <laughs> You'll make your boyfriend very happy. Mm -hmm. I had this awesome idea for centerpieces. I wasn't too sure how they're gonna come together. I had gotten a little ahead of myself with this and As usual. What? As usual. Brad is in the uh, pilot seat, you could say, for his aviation theme wedding. And, oh. uh, Michelle and I both met air cadets. I mean, I want to keep that a part of it. Oh, that's and amazing. I have yeah. a couple options here, too. Actual airplanes. Oh, you oh, brought yeah. a bag of tricks oh, or toys. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. I mean, seriously? Okay. What? That's different. Yeah. Brad. I want these to be a part of the centerpiece. So you want them in each centerpiece? Yes. OK. How much do these cost? <laughs> well, the larger one is $40. $40? The smaller one is 20 What? That's a joke, right? No. Michelle is going to hate these. OK, Bad granted, idea. the camo one, probably not the best color scheme. I'm they sure both scare me in budget, but like this one's ugly. Well, that went over well. We can do something with the smaller one. You understand, we have 20 tables, right? Yeah. So like, just this little guy would yeah. be like, $400 of airplanes. That's the sight of the budget disappearing into thin air. It's leaving like pennies for the rest of your Nothing. centerpiece. It's Nothing not for the rest. gonna leave pennies. Planning weddings, you see these kind of things all the time. No, 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 no. I actually don't. <laughs> Is your vision to have flowers with it? Absolutely. Okay, Sonia. Yes. Do you have any options for how to bring model airplanes and florals together on a very low altitude budget? Sure. <laughs> Let me pull some things out of the cooler and different textures, different flowers, and see how you like it. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you 
you think about these? Here we've got white hydrangeas, we've got some mini white calla lilies, and this, I think, would give the nice illusion of clouds at the bottom of your plane idea. Hey, okay. there you go. That is and adorable. Maybe float the plane over the clouds. You see I my vision now. It's cute. Sonia, what would that actual arrangement cost, though? You'd be looking at about $40 per piece, including the vase. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Brad, this is this is really good for budget. I mean, mm -hmm. this is still over budget, but like I was expected to be even more over budget than this. There's a lot of white there, and the colors for the wedding are purple and silver. So I want to kind of incorporate a little bit of color into the. What sure. about like a like a purple ribbon around the vase? And that would be a low cost option to bring purple in. Or we can actually do some purple flowers. Okay, but if we went with a more purplish arrangement, is that going to change this forty dollars price range that I'm really happy with right now? It's going to be a bit higher. You're going to be looking at about eighty dollars per piece. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I'd like to see how you're going to explain this to your budget-conscious bride. I really hope that Brad doesn't spend a lot of money on flowers. You know, I really hope he's really smart with our money. What about, Brad, just, just roll with me here, because I roll with your planes. What about taking this lower-cost item but using floral spray paint to spray it purple? I've never heard of spray painting flowers. I know, we've never heard of planes in a centerpiece. But, but won't we, it look super fake? It sounds Not if you do like it right. Wood. If we could, could see we it. See the spray painted? Do you have any purple? Sure. Let me just go grab some paint and I'll be right back. Okay. okay. See, she has floral spray paint. It's not that crazy of an idea. It's see, a little crazy. It sounds bizarre. It's actually a lot more okay, common. Okay, guys. So I've got two different shades for you to give it more of a realistic look. Wow. Really cool. See? All right. I get what you're going. And Brad, this will cool. not cost eighty dollars. This will. This is your forty dollar option, but sprayed. Go for it. What do you guys think about this? That looks actually pretty good. I See? was a little yeah. iffy on the whole spray painting thing, but I mean, we got the purple. And, and is there an extra fee to actually have the spray painting done? No, we'll do it for you. Just for the $40? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Brad. All right. And we still have the, we still get the planes in. Can yep, kind we'll of incorporate just that. It over top. So with these flowers, you can still afford your stupid planes. That's stupid. I brought my mom and the planners along to help me shop for the cake. I wanted this to be special. Oh, and it was special. Very special. I wouldn't spend a ton of money when it comes to the cake. I mean, people are just gonna eat it and it'll be gone in 20 minutes. So for some flour and sugar, I wouldn't spend a lot of money. I'm it's looking left. at four tiers. Purple is very predominant in our color scheme. Our colors are actually purple and silver. Also, Michelle's family has this kind of slogan or uh, toast as here's love all around. So I was hoping to incorporate that into it. Sure, we can do that, definitely. Okay. Wow, Brad, you've given this a lot of thought. Yeah, That's very I'm touching. Wow. I'm impressed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, guys. Wow, that Give me best. some credit. Brad's budget mm -hmm. is about $400 for cake. OK, well, he was describing a four tier. Yeah. So for that, you're looking probably 500. Okay, so $500, that's not bad. That's $100 over budget, but if you're comfortable with that, then that's great. Absolutely. I have another idea, though. Now I'm worried. I shouldn't, well, <laughs> what I was thinking, it's kind of incorporate making something oh like my. this. Okay. Something tells me he shouldn't be toying around with this idea. What do you mean making like something like that? Like... No, like a cake. You want a whole cake? A whole cake. As a plane. In the shape of a plane? Oh. Absolutely. What? Why not? So like a groom's cake. Absolutely, a groom's cake. With one cake already over budget, do you really need a second one? Mm. Model cakes, Lisa, those are not cheap, are they? No, you're looking probably about 800. Okay. <laughs> 800 dollars. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's so that's over and above your original yes, budget. Mom. Michelle will shoot you. Having the two cakes would definitely be really unique. I will have to think about it, but okay. I mean. To have an airplane cake? <laughs> who really, who has had that at a wedding? Not many. That would be I bet nobody. <laughs> oh, it... Coming up. Is that what you're doing for a wedding? No. You just pick the most expensive thing because you think it's the best? Between the two of us, no hands down, this one is the budget man. He's definitely the budget man. He wants to make sure that if we can get something for $100, we might as well try to find it for 90 And then if we find it for 90 we might as well try to find it for 80 So. We had to do a lot of hiding. I had to do a lot of hiding receipts, and I had to do a lot of pretending, and 
Some of them have not changed. <laughs> Our groom Brad has been given control of planning his wedding by his bride Michelle in exchange for a $5,000 boost to their budget. Because Brad met his bride while they were both in the Air Force, he's going for an aviation theme. But some of his ideas may not take flight. I'm they sure both scare me in budget, but like this one's ugly. Michelle is gonna hate these. Can Brad rise above the clouds? But more importantly, can he keep his spending in check to please his bargain-loving bride? Without Michelle's input, my cousin Garrett and I could finally get creative. And since I love aviation, I realized the sky was the limit. Um, our budget should have been the limit. We spoke on the phone regarding yes. an aerial banner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you be able, to, would be able to discuss a little more? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the uh, what the banner looks like. An example of a banner. Okay. I'll just unravel it over here. I just need some help over here, Garrett. If you can. Yeah. No, I can. Hang on over I'll here. hold this side. All right. Let's just unravel it. Okay. Just roll it up. Okay, Garrett, if you can just hold it up there. So, Brad, have you thought about the message that you want to uh, Well, I, so I'm thinking just congratulations, Michelle and Brad. What kind of that pricing am good. I looking at? $1,000. $1,000. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Have you forgotten who you're marrying? An extra thousand to your budget could ground you for life. I know this is cool and it's unique and everything, but like, do you really need it? Like, that's an extra thousand bucks. Well, I think a thousand dollars for you know for a, for a message. I think uh, it's, it's going to be quite impactful. Impactful and romantic. It is how they met, after all. I think it's going to be impactful. Yes. I'm just I'm worried that you're turning into a little bit of a monster here. Dude, but... this is my day. <laughs> Michelle gave up all control. This is this is something I want to do. But is she going to like this too? Because you got to remember, you got to live with her after this. But she'll love this. Are you kidding? It's our names across the sky. It's romantic. That's a good point. For sure. that, that is a good point. Come on, right? Right. It's once in a lifetime. That's true. We hope, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was allowed to plan one item for the wedding, the bridesmaid dresses. Ugh, it felt so good to be on the hunt again for the best bargain. I'm glad it was the girls you took care of. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Good morning, girls. How are you? I'm OK. How are you? Good. Um, well, I'm here today because I brought uh, my bridesmaid dresses that I really, really want made. Okay. And um, I went out and I bought the exact material so I know exactly what color I want. OK, how many dresses? There'll be four all together. How much do you think that would cost me, just that simple design? This one is about uh, 110. 110? Yeah. OK. That's, that's good. That's a good price. Something makes me think Michelle doesn't consider that a good price. Do you think that you can give us any sort of discount? <laughs> there you go, with the discount. Maybe I can do a little bit. Yeah? Less. What about like $20 off, like 90 or something? Mm, what about the hunter? Well, what about 90? Do you think, because then oh, I can keep it under 100? Because I bought the material, I came okay. ready. I think I can do it. Yeah? Because it's okay. four dresses, I think I can do it okay. for 90. Perfect. It's okay. True to form, Michelle is bargaining for those discounts. I was asking for a discount because, come on, it's great to always ask for a discount. Uh, except for Hane and Lori, uh, really didn't want to be around me. They were kind of embarrassed by me. But, you know, once I got that $90 price, I don't see them embarrassed anymore. Brian and I went luggage shopping for our honeymoon, so I wanted to see if I can sneak in any questions just to make sure he was spending our money wisely. Yeah, you were very subtle about not trusting me. No, honey, I do trust you. I just don't trust you with the money. Uh, no, that's a negative. That's like $180. So? I mean, it, th this it would last. This one's nicer. It's $50. But would it last? And then you have to get the big one, because you got to get a matching set. Well, how much is that? I don't know. $300? $300. This is luggage. What are you doing with our wedding? How much are you spending on our wedding? It doesn't look like you have this one in the bag, Brad. I have complete control of the wedding. Okay, don't but, worry. But we just walked in here, and you, like, went zoop, right to the most expensive thing in the store. Is that what you're doing for our wedding? No. You just picked the most expensive thing because you think it's the best? You've given me planning. Why are you telling me how to do this? But I'm encouraging you to do the right thing. But I'm doing save. this my way, not your way. But it's supposed to be romantic, right? Where's the yeah. romance? Uh, dollar signs don't equal romance, Brad. And debt can lead to divorce. It'll be fine. You're not Thanks listening to, to me. You're not listening to me. I have complete control. Don't worry about how much I'm spending on this wedding. OK, but can I bring up my point? No. Don't... Well, I'm going to do it. No. Don't no. You... you agreed to this. Yes. The I wedding's so. going to look nice. It's going to look great. People will be talking about it for years. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right? I'm done. I'm done arguing with you. It felt awesome standing up to Michelle today. Bargain hunting, looking for discounts, that's her idea. 
but there's a new sheriff in town, and I don't like I don't mind spending one bit. Coming up. I kind of put a little bit of a personal touch to the centerpieces. See, when you say personal touch, all I see is ding, 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 ding. As far as the wedding planning went, uh, we actually did all of it together, which was sort of an experience for me as far as flowers and dresses and things. But it was, I learned some things. I don't think I'd want to do it again, but it was, it was really quite interesting. Oh, he learned some things all right. <laughs> Our groom Brad has been creatively planning this wedding, thinking more of the big day than of the budget. This is something I want to do. But is she going to like this too? Because you've got to remember, you've got to live with her after this. But she'll love this. Are you kidding? It's our names across the sky. Will Brad's pie-in-the-sky ideas please his cost-conscious bride? Or will he just get by on a wing and a prayer? Brad picked out my wedding dress, but I still had to have it altered just to make sure that it fit. I was scared, but not just for me, but for our budget. Scared? That was a little harsh. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Come on out. We're yes. gonna get you right up on the podium, okay? okay? Yeah, you're up. Okay, and just stand right there. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Michelle is gorgeous. Michelle, we are giving you the choice. You can either choose right now to take that blindfold off and see your dress, or Keep the blindfold on and wait to the wedding day to be completely surprised. I was really excited um, to be able to try on the dress, and I was even more excited when Lauren Kelly said that I could actually see the dress. A little bit of a control freak, so I need to see what I'm gonna look like on our, my wedding day. Let's go for it, guys. Okay, one, mm -hmm. two, three. Oh my God, I love it. Do you? Do you? I really love Do my dress. Do you really love it? It's ah! so beautiful. Oh Really expensive looking though. Well, it definitely didn't come from a thrift store. How much did he spend on it? Oh though? my god, we're <laughs> crying out loud. Can Michelle, you stop thinking go about back the to the other motion you were just in. But look at all the detail in it. It's it looks really expensive. And maybe it is. But That's it's right. done and dealt with. Stop yeah. thinking of price for a change and just enjoy the moment in your dress. That's right. Ooh. It looks beautiful. You love it. That's all that should matter. It was Brad's budget, he spent it, and this is your dress. Okay, look. <sighs> You're going to look amazing. You look gorgeous right now. Just, I can picture you walking down that aisle and just smiling and not thinking about anything else but Brad. So you calm look down. Pretty. You look beautiful. Thank you. Group hug. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Kelly felt that we needed to have a meeting to talk about Brad's budget management skills. I manage the budget just fine. Michelle, Brad, we wanted to get together with you guys this evening because Kelly and I wanted to talk to you about the budget. Now, I know this is one area, Michelle, that you've been completely left out of because you did give control of the wedding plans to Brad for the $5,000 budget boost. So, are you ready for that? I'm very ready, actually. Okay. I want to be in the loop. I feel I'm out of the loop. That's great because we have some good news and some bad news. Okay. A word that you will like is under budget, which is what Brad is when it comes to your bridal gown. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God, it was beautiful with all those crystals. I thought we were going to be over budget for sure on that dress. It's gorgeous. You were very stressed about that at the yeah. fitting, definitely. Mm. And we okay. couldn't divulge, but just, you know, he was well under budget. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm even, I'm even more happy to wear that dress now. Okay. Wow, you're <laughs> such a romantic, Michelle. Okay, well, keeping with the under budget theme, one area that you had control over in the wedding planning was the bridesmaids' dresses. So why don't you tell Brad what you chose to do in that category? I actually came under budget on the dresses because I found a lady that can do our dresses for us. It's basically, what, half my budget? Exactly, almost half. You spent half the budget I gave you? Yeah. You could have, you know, splurred. You could have got the girls some nice dresses. I did. <laughs> Their budget dresses that look beautiful. In Michelle's world, budgets are beautiful. Brad, the centerpieces were over budget. Okay, but guys, come it, on, it's a centerpiece. Well, how do you go over on something that sits in the middle of the table? I kind of put a little bit of a personal touch to those centerpieces. See, when you say personal touch, all I see is ding, 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 ding. 
and like money signs. Guys, let's move on. Something else that was done mm -hmm. is something kind of special uh, to kick okay. off the uh, reception, I guess. So that wasn't something that was ultimately in the budget per se, but that's something now that has taken us quite a bit over budget as well. What? Where do you come up with these ideas? If it's not in the original budget, it's because there's a reason. Hmm, what's the reason? We can't afford it. We don't have the money. You don't have a say in this. But we don't have the money. I think well, the money has actually already been spent, though. Yeah. How do you spend money that's not there? Brad, focus. I want you to focus on the stuff you're over budget and bring them under budget. Because even if you are at budget, you're still kind of over budget, right? With that kind of logic, our groom hasn't got a chance. Brad, do you think when Michelle actually sees the things that you've planned on the wedding day that she will accept the money you spent? No. She... <laughs> yes. No. Okay. Coming up. He just gets overexcited, and then when he gets excited, he takes out the credit card. Yeah, but lot. can you blame him? It's your wedding. He didn't have that loving look in his eyes, and he didn't say, oh, you look beautiful, nothing like that. It was kind of a bummer. Yeah, he yeah. was just, he was so nervous and so not feeling well. So, yeah, he was just, the sweat was pouring off him and he just couldn't wait for the whole thing to be over. The big day is quickly approaching and our groom Brad has tried to incorporate an aviation theme into his wedding day. Let's hope his ideas will please his bride in the end because his soaring budget has proven to be a source of tension. If it's not in the original budget, it's because there's a reason. Hmm, what's the reason? We can't afford it. Soon we'll reveal if Brad's overspending ideas please his bride, or is there to be turbulence ahead? The morning of my wedding, I was really, really nervous and anxious. I had no idea what to expect, and that rarely happens. I love surprising you. You know what? I've had enough surprises to last me a lifetime. I'm like super excited, Mish. How are you feeling? I don't know. I'm just feeling a little nervous. Don't be nervous. Go, just go with it. It'll be so much fun. All right. I guess I have to trust him. Yes, you will have to trust him. I'm just worried that you know what he's spending our money on. I just so he's funny. It just. Do you honestly trust him? It I totally do. Does not sound like you trust him. He just gets overexcited, and then when he gets excited, he takes out the credit card. Yeah, a but lot. can you blame him? It's your wedding. How are you doing? I'm getting nervous. Are you? Can't lie to you. Yeah. So, I don't know, things are coming. Big day. Yes. Hey, how are you? I'll grab it, I'll grab it. Oh, oh Michelle, you look beautiful. Thank you. How's oh, it going? My flowers. There you go. Yes. Yeah, fresh from the florist. What do you think? I, I like them. They're very simple, so that means it couldn't have cost too, too much. This bride gives new meaning to budget obsessed. Why are you worrying about that right they're, now? They're beautiful. I love yeah. the purple. Oh. Lori, look at the purple. Yeah. Look at the purple. I know, they're purple. Is this Does that, that mean something to you, Michelle? Um, so is my wedding gonna be really purpley? I don't know. I haven't seen your wedding. It hasn't happened yet. They're so dresses. flowers, check marks. Okay. Like okay. he gets two thumbs up for this. He does. Ten he did points. an awesome All right. job. All right. Trust like me, it. he'll be relieved. Thank you. How much do you think those cost? Yeah. You guys, the dresses look great. Huh? I can't cool. wait for Michelle oh to see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Your dresses look amazing. Let me see. They're beautiful. Guys, it looks awesome. See, you can get beautiful dresses on a budget. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm starting to freak out, man. Starting to freak out? Yeah, I mean, OK. The wedding is in three hours. Uh, I think we're down to two. Two now, now, sorry. And you know what? I'm starting to get nervous as to how Michelle's going to react to everything that's you know been planned. Does it look nice? Oh, you look gorgeous. Does it? OK. Yeah. OK, how good. Do you feel? I feel good in it. Yeah. I just, yeah, Brad. Actually picked a good dress for me, eh? It looks even better today than it did when you tried it on. Right? Yeah? Oh, this is beautiful. I can't wait to show my mom. Is she ready? There? Yeah. Yeah, she I'm is. ready to show her. Sure? Okay. All right, take Everything. a deep breath. Okay, I'm ready. Mom, are you ready to see her dress? Yes, I yeah. am. All right, here I present to you the bride. What do you think? Oh, stop crying. Gosh. <laughs> Lovely. What do you think of the dress, though? Lovely. Brad, did I no pick... I can't believe he picked this dress out for you. He did a really good job. He did do a good job, didn't he? I love it. Thank you. Wonderful take. I know. Oh my, oh my god. god. He did a really good job. And it's so light. 
Like, do you look like a princess? Well, Brad, it looks like you're off to a very good start. I love it. You did a really good job. Really good job. <laughs> I knew he had such good fashion oh, sense. I know. I you're happy and you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, he is. Oh, He's a fashion you. diva. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kelly speaking. Hi, Kelly, it's Brad. Hey, how are you? What's going on? I'm uh, just getting kind of anxious. You know, how did everything go with Michelle? She's calm, she's cool, collected, and everything's going fine. Okay, yeah, how did the dress fit and everything? Everything do it go okay? The dress? She loves the dress, Brad. Everybody loves the dress. And the flowers, was she impressed with the flowers? She liked, Brad, that they were simple because simple to her meant less expensive. So she liked the idea that it wasn't anything elaborate. So she's hoping you got a good deal. You're doing an amazing job. She's thrilled with everything. Thank you. See you at the church, Brad. See you, Laura. Bye, Kelly. When Michelle walked down the aisle, she looked like an angel. I have to admit, I did get a little emotional. You did, but just a little. Hi, Brad. Take you, Michelle. Take you, Michelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Michelle. I, Michelle. Take you, Brad. Take you, Brad. To be my husband. To take, to be my husband. <laughs> I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days all the days of my life. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. Brad and Michelle Parker. Coming up. Open up. Hello. Ah! What's that? I added a little bit of my own touch. We just did the standard ones. We just ones. did the standard vows. If I could go back and rewrite our own, I know some things I'd be adding in there. I, I know some yeah. things I would just <laughs> smile and nod and agree with. <laughs> Brad and Michelle have finally exchanged their vows, and their big day seems to be going well so far. But will the aviation-themed reception planned by our groom find itself grounded if our bride suspects it may have busted their budget? I'm just worried that, you know, what he's spending our money on. I just it's hope so he's... Funny. It just, do you honestly trust him? I, I do. It does not sound like you trust him. But trust she did, because in the end, Michelle chose to give full control to her groom, Brad, in exchange for an extra $5,000. Will she have any deep regrets, or will Michelle think she made the ultimate deal? All my plans worked out like I was hoping, but I still had some surprises up my sleeve for Michelle. Yes, you did. I was really anxious to see what we had in store for the reception. I wanted to know where our money was going. Excited? Oh my god, where are we? No, 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 relax, relax. You'll see. Brad, you'll this see. looks like a golf course. I know, right? It looks really grand and it Doesn't looks it? beautiful, but it's it, beautiful. It Wait looks... till you see the clubhouse. It's really expensive, isn't no, it? No, it's not. We got a good deal. Don't worry. Did you negotiate? I negotiated. Well, Brad, your bride finally seems to be rubbing off on you. Wow. We in here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here's Lauren Kelly. Hi guys. Hi guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, I wanna see this. Okay, Ready? Michelle. Ready? Close our eyes. eyes. Got our eyes closed. Close. Yeah. close. One, two, Scared. three. Open them. Hello. Ah! Oh my God! Hello. Welcome. This is awesome. You have purple. Oh my God! They're even purple flowers. Are... Flowers are purple. We spray painted them. All of them? All of them. It's true. Really? To yeah. save costs. That's right. Just if they were you. all white. Well, to save costs. Yes. Absolutely. He saved money on those. Yeah. Sure did. I like that. Thank I love you. it even more. Yeah? <laughs> so far, so good. No sign of turbulence. What's that? I added a little bit of my own touch. Brad? Yes? This is classy and elegant, and there's a plane. The plane is classy and elegant, too. We met with Air Cadets. Yeah. We met with the Air Force. I wanted to kind of incorporate the Air Force into the whole decor. That is amazing. He's quite proud of himself for it. Well, Michelle, there's a lot more to see, a lot Wait. more purple, and a lot more surprises, so okay. keep going. Keep going. Oh, my god. I love this cake! Read the, read this the wording. This wedding cake? Yeah. Oh! Here's love all around. High five. High five. I like nice. I now like that. Speaking honey. of cake. Speaking yeah. of cake, I yeah. kind of come over here, right? And <laughs> look how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Is that a cake? It's a cake. It's a groom's cake. It sure is. It's a cake for you? Uh, <laughs> gosh. How cool, though. Uh, how you can eat that? everything. 
Was it within budget? Yes. Did you negotiate? I, get a better price? Of course I bought negotiated. Case? Don't worry about costs. We're good. So you've seen the room. You've seen some surprises in here. Yeah, this is, wow, this takes the cake. Uh, it sure <laughs> does. You like? Yeah. That, Do you yeah, like it? That's, that, we're actually still not done. So. Seriously? Yeah, oh, this yeah. isn't the end. OK. All right. Let's go. Now it was time to head outside for one last surprise. I did something really cool. <laughs> okay. Something more that was really cool. Yeah, why? I want you to just take a look right up there. <laughs> right? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That's us. That's us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so cool, right? Woohoo! Oh my god. <laughs> It was a big gamble, but the banner paid off. Mr. and Mrs. Brad and Michelle Parker. I think all the things Brad did uh, were sensational things, and everything worked. Michelle liked it all, and everybody's having a great time. Brad should be so proud of himself because he pulled it off without a hitch. Everything. Michelle was so worried, she had nothing to be worried about. It was awesome, 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 awesome. Well, Brad, though some people felt you could have been setting yourself up for a fall, you pulled it off in the end. Your guests are having a great time, and your bride's mood is soaring. It looks like the planning of this wedding was in capable hands after all. Oh my gosh, today, what an amazing day. Wasn't it awesome? I can't believe the day is almost done. It just you know, flew by. by. I yeah. couldn't ask for anything better. Michelle looked absolutely stunning you, in honey. her dress. It was an awesome day. The bridesmaids looked gorgeous. And you know what? It was a great day. Absolutely. You're welcome. I never said thank you. <laughs> this wedding may have hit new heights, but the bills may just take it even higher. Even with the $5,000 budget boost, did Brad manage to stay on budget? The budget we gave Lauren Kelly was $25,000. With the added $5,000 budget boost, gave us a grand total of $30,000. The bridesmaids in their dresses looked absolutely stunning. Even though Michelle did go under her budget on that, it cost $550. My dress was amazing. Brad spent a little bit more than I would have wanted him to, but it was still great. The dress and alterations came to $625. The airplane banner turned out better than expected. People are still talking about it. The cost, $1,000. We had two cakes for some reason, my beautiful purple tear cake and his airplane cake. But total cost for two cakes, $1,300. Michelle loved the purple decor. It is her favorite color. And the model airplanes in the centerpieces was a little personal touch of mine. Total cost of centerpieces and decor, $2,045. Brad needed a lot of help, and thank goodness Laura and Kelly were there to help him. Wedding planner fee came to $2,500. The venue was absolutely amazing. I got that off factor that I was looking for, plus Michelle absolutely loved it. Total cost, including food and alcohol, $17,800. Miscellaneous costs, including DJ, transportation, and guest gifts, came to $10,284. What we actually spent was $36,104. Even with the budget boost, we were still over by $6,104. I can't believe you spent that much. I mean, if I planned the wedding, we would have been under budget. Yes, but if you had planned the wedding, we would have missed out on all the cool ideas I had. You're still getting a second job. Oh, well, I had fun. The plane flew by. Our couple cut their cake. And the party took off. The only question left is, when it came to breaking the budget, did Brad see the writing in the sky? I would have to say that between the two of us, there's no question. Nadine is the saver. Uh, I am the spender, unless we go shopping. What kind of groom was he? Um... Uh, somewhat reluctant 